set for the tip and underway. Controlled by Zakai Ziegler back in the starting lineup off a season in which he was lost to an ACL surgery. Harrison Ingram gives Hubert Davis an aspect he hasn't had for several years. Bounce to Baycock. This is Ingram. His first shot. Good from three. 32 free throw attempts for Tennessee. Only eight altogether against Kansas. Just their inability to punch the paint. Could do cross court. Ingram again for three. That's the bottom. He's two of two, and he's got six early points. Go to get to the free throw line as they drive from Cadeau. He kicks Ingram again. No, that's short. Cadeau with an offensive rebound. Baycott a little jump hook, and that will go on the up eight two thanks to two Ingram threes and that Baycott baby hook. James got size. And a pretty pull up as he goes right over RJ Davis. That's a huge part of the offense. Withers takes it. He took it right into Orange Arms and it was denied. Now connect instead of pulling up. Hard to the basket. Dalton connects. And that transition defense. He is not yet dog tough in those transition defensive stop plays. Ingram behind a Bangkok screen. That's off to the left. So after hitting his first two, he's. Connect. this half. Tennessee has chased more than they've defended on their own defensive end. The Maui Connect got caught dribbling a little too often as the ball pick. They get it down low to Adu who lays it in. But you want a pass by Vescovy, man, to lead Adu. R.J. Davis right back at you. They want to play quick. You will get screen in every possession when you play Tennessee. Ziegler pulls up, high arcing jump shot. That's a big sign for Tennessee. Vision of how Rick Barnes is going to be going forward for the next 30 plus years. Cormac Ryan into the game. He fires and off the bench. Just too strong. Ingram on hustle connect for that offensive rebound. Dalton Connect wanted no part of the collision for that ball. Baker using his strength. That's a hustle and Dalton Connect. Ball handling now for Tennessee. He is a terrific outside shooter. So he and Ziegler now in the backcourt. And Adu will fire from about 15, 17 feet away and knock it down. Ingram working on Ganey. He's got the switch he wanted. Now they kick it. They move it around, and it's Ryan again. That time, he finds the bottom. Josiah Jordan James sails out of bounds. The number one defensive efficiency team in the country is Tennessee. Ooh, on the outside. That is Jalen Washington. Ryan twisted both ankles. And we weren't sure he was going to play. He obviously is and making an impact. They got Mason off the floor, and that's put up and in. I think Hubert Davis has his guys believing that they will not be out tough this year, because they were multiple times last year and finally connect, connects. Connect dribbling again to James. Rain open, yeah. and he drove right by his man. You drive the ball or cut through the elbow or the nail offensively, you win games. Ingram back in. Washington low against Connect. He got a pick by Vescovy. James drives again, and he will lay it up and in. Right by Jalen Washington. Hubert Davis is going to have to get Washington out of the game. And Triple J takes advantage of it. 15-point lead. Cut down to 11. Davis long three. Oh, boy. He banked it in. That was unintentional, but it's three more points for North Carolina. Look at R.J. Davis going to his left. That's what you want to force him to do, make him deck it and go to his left. And there's the hard contact. Crawl their way back in. Yeah, I'll see wide open. Wide open. <laughs> Backs connect in, throws it up and in, and he is not in his way with anybody. Where was the fight by Dalton Connect, though, on the one bounce back down? James is left open. He pulls up, and he's keeping them in it. Josiah Jordan James. It's not the highest percentage shot, but they're taking what North Carolina is giving them defensively. Cadeau get James on him. Trimble baseline. Yeah. Right up in front of Connect off the window. He's into the game for Carolina. Daniel the coach here. He has the ball in his hands. Guarded by Connect. Adu back in the game as Good well. Puck. Good give and go. Up off the window. Trimble takes that pass. From Baker. So we'll see the Razorbacks and Duke. One of our ACC SEC challenge next. Meshack in the paint. He threw one up and missed it. Cadeau. Good pass. Yeah. Baker camped underneath. He 
Bulls got a chance for a three-point play, and the Heels are having their way. Unbelievable effort last night. <laughs> Myron. Well, I mean, Tennessee might be thinking about post-game food as well, but they were in the timeout saying, listen, it's still a game. Jonas Adu interrupted Rick Barnes and said, it's pride at this point. He cares greatly about North Carolina basketball. He wants to do special stuff this year, but his respect for this program is as good as they've ever had as a player. Go get some help, and it's Ingram who had it connect to the rack and lays it up and in. A lot of basic is what Tennessee calls it motion offense out of Tennessee early. Again, one pass, a guarded three. That's not how you get back in the game. Great right pass. Back on the rush. Cadeau found him again. They are oh, the good. Once they get the ball to Cadeau, he has already thought one pass ahead. James pulls up for a three that's off to the right, way off. And Phillips picks up an offensive rebound. And now he loses it. Cadeau one-on-one -on -one with Meshack. Uses his body. Misses Ryan the follow-up. And they are winning every loose ball right now. They're the faster team. They're the, the tougher team, but they're also the faster team with all those 50-50 balls. Connect with a cut, throws that in with his left hand. Dalton Connect is starting to pile up points. Blowing out Tennessee in every facet. Meshack tries to drive, and he is able to put it up and in. You've got a hard drive to get yourself to the free throw line and lock in defensively. Bad pass. Connect picks it off. Takes it and flushes it. Cadeau finds his man Davis, and they have numbers. He takes it to the hole. Oh, that's pretty. He plays with a chip now. I'm telling you. From that three-point line, but his explosiveness and his toughness and his grit. The offense stagnant relative to what we're seeing from Carolina. Ganey pulls up and he hits it over Ingram. It still to me is a simple game. The quality of my shot versus yes. the quality of your shot. North Carolina obviously winning that math equation. Davis with a blow by reverse. He's got the last four. And watch RJ Davis. He was huge in Atlanta. 23 against Villanova, 30 against Arkansas. And he is a lot of ball left for They triple teamed him. Ingram. So easy. Ingram has now made his fourth three-point third of the half. Ziegler has the ball in Tennessee, tries to crawl back. Adu, tough shot, but he gets it. Myron. He said there were defensive breakdowns, lack of effort, but he said it's the worst it has been since his time at Tennessee. Boy, did Baycott just move Adu from one side of the paint to the other. In the second half, Adu just accepts the move of Baycott. Escovy, Adu was planted down low, and that time Baycott got behind him. That's a foul and a chance for a three-point play. And North Carolina played with a hot ball in the offensive in their first half, and Adu does a good job of just slipping out of it, showing his numbers to the past. One combined turnover between two point guards on the floor. So good, so clean and efficient. I know six assists, no turnovers. Baycott, and it's all going behind oh, Baycott's good rebound in traffic. For Mac Ryan, they will try to push. It worked for them in the first half. Ingram's three, that's good. And he just pushes the ball. And he throws strikes. He doesn't throw balls high and wide. He delivers right in the shot pocket nine out of ten times. Connects, he buries the three. They left him open, that's dangerous. I talked to Hubert Davis about a month ago. He said, this kid sees it, a player two ahead of most. Well, they set up another wide open three, and Ryan buries it. Ryan, a good pass from Cadeau. He's got that vision. They do, that short, tipped up and in by Josiah Jordan. They have played in some hostile environments over the years, but nothing like is waiting for them that they're going to see when they walk out of that tunnel. Cadeau drew two, that left Washington to clean it up. Connect, he trades places, James knocks down a three. Josiah Jordan James is having a terrific game. No sign of any let up here, and the pass down low, kick Davis, three. Buries it, boy are they moving that hot potato around. Roy Williams told me he had a burger named after him as well. Is that right? Well, I'm just, that's what the coach said. <laughs> and when the coach speaks in this building, what are you going to do? That's the number that you're playing with right now, Rick Barnes. 
do with a little floater. They have found something where they do in this little bit Because he said, I want to be the last guy to make a basket at Carmichael. Yeah, he went and made a layup. Right? Made a layup. Yeah. Connect right off that inbounds. That's going to play for Tennessee. He buries another three. There. So when he watch film, he can always see what the score was because you're filming a game. Your student managers, they're not going up to the scoreboard. Right. And they actually carried that tradition over into the Dean Dome for a couple of years. Got away from it. Connect that. That's what he can do. Yeah. Talk about his lack of. They got a run. Out. They got two on one. Trimble. Ryan had it blocked. What a play by Gady. James in the paint. No good. Went after it. Bangkok picks up another rebound. And now Carolina has numbers. Davis. Huge. That's a huge turn right there. All the game will say that ball's going to drop about 47, 48 percent of the time. Connect. Boy, that's pretty. He takes that one and he's got 29. That means the long reach of connect. They, they got the fire lit underneath their rear ends at halftime. Myron was probably pretty kind in terms of what he actually reported, what actually happened. Wow, oh, connect has 30. 31. One. Well, Dalton Do Connect, his confidence offensively is off the charts. It's as good as anybody in college basketball. 14 point lead. Can they get it down to 10? Ingram doubled quickly and he throws it away. Ganey in a foot race will win it. Lay it up and in. Here come the Volunteers. Withers is wide open underneath. Wide open. And he missed the lane. They're turning it over. They're missing some shots they didn't. And Connect all the way to the rack. Lays it up and in. Dalton Connect. 33 points for the first time in this game. And it's all because of Dalton Connect. He was loose with the ball in the first half. But he's much tighter now with the drive. My gosh, what a comeback by the volunteer. Here's a big one from Ziegler. He rattles it in, a three-pointer. 82-74, and Tennessee has made a statement. First time they are within single digits since the 12:47 mark of the first half. Great drive there, and a crossover by R.J. Davis, the senior. Some cramping issues, obviously he's putting on a lot of effort in this comeback effort. He had cramps in the Syracuse game. He found Josiah Jordan James, the veteran. They got shit on Phillips right now at the rim. Davis, oh, that's huge as he fired a three. The, the second guy around, the skip pass was perfect. And then look at R.J. Davis, <laughs> real jumper Davis. You saw you that impressive list he's on. He spins into the middle and in traffic. Ingram picks up the rebound. The Kick corner, and that's a big three. It comes off the hand of Ganey. And here's the countdown with five seconds. He got James in the air, and he threw up an air ball. And another hustle rebound by Carolina. That went off the iron. Good hustle by Ziegler. Connecting the left corner. Now he comes out and picks up the ball. He's got Trimble, a great defender on him, and he goes finger roll with the left. The long reach again, Ravi. 35. Break, and this team will be tested, but they are built to pass every one of those tests. And I just miss it, they that four-game stretch coming up. Carolina's made 28 free throws tonight. Ziegler's high three, finds the bottom. I've been in Bud Walton, and you have too, and the building is about to explode, and that could happen multiple times tonight. A chance for Arkansas to erase what was a poor outing in Atlantis. Without Tremont Mark, as Ganey takes it to the hole, he lays it up and lays it in. Another timeout is called. This is important for you. Okay. Some Bojangles biscuits. Tonight? No, there's a rip off the free throw miss. And that will do it with four seconds to go. A hundred points for Carolina. And a statement win in front of a packed house of 21,000 at the Dean Smith Center.